Hey, you little squishy babies. Bubble Pop Kids here. We got six new ones on the table. Wow, like the only thing I have to say, Bubble, is like, what is this? What is it? So excited. It is Monday. I think the last time I did one of these was Saturday. I got new ones here. I even found a little chocolate milk slime. Little chocolate milk slime? Like what? Love you, Bubble. Love you. We got this little ducky here. Ooh, this thing, it's super funny. <laughs> I was actually a Dave and Busters. I got this out of a little claw machine. I won this, I couldn't even believe it. And when I first saw it, I wasn't sure if it was a squish, but it is. Little ducky. Ew, like Dave and Busters are selling squishies now? Super weird. Look at this one, Dory. And I love this Dory because look, super stretchy and like moldable. Final two, so we're gonna be chopping. We got a Colleen homemade. Ooh, this thing is so pretty. It's so pretty. It looks like she splattered it with paint. I don't know what's going on, but it's jiggly, super cold. Yeah. Love those homemades. Last but not least, we have a delicious piece of cake. <laughs> you guys, look at this. Actually, it looks so delish, but more than it looks, ah. Oh, smells it smells like buttercream or frosting look at the sprinkies on it oh almost forgot this one look at this little thing it's kind of like a chocolate croissant bread it's got the choco but the squish on it is probably the best feeling squishy on the whole table it's so so cool i can't even describe it i don't know what's in here looks like a real pastry Ready, you little bubble babes, it is time to begin. Oh, I can't start, I can't wait to check out this little baby slime. And if you guys are ever gonna do this at home, just make sure you have an adult or parent supervising. These things are super sharp and don't know what's in these. Let's do it. We are starting with the ducky, the Dave and Buster's little ducky. This is probably the first squishy I ever got out of a claw machine. Those things are so hard, I never win. But I got this one yesterday, ooh. Yeah, like you got this at Dave and Buster's bubble. You seriously stole this from like Ernie. This is Ernie's rubber ducky. You're so rude. And you just poke at it like this and like pretend it's slime. Ooh, soft on my thingy. Look at its eyeballs. It lights up too. Oh, I didn't even realize this thing has a little lighting device. Ooh, I think there's like clear Orbeez, maybe a little bit of slime, and a light up. Yeah. Watching the bubble with my ducky wrist and my ducky eyes, watching you, try and chop me. Oh, like this thing looks like a big old blob of a duck. Like seriously, bub, we have to destroy. It's not Ernie's, it definitely is like a Dave and Buster's claw machine squishy. That's all it is. Get rid of it. There it goes. I got my little pinky cutting tools today. Got my little pink polka dots. And I got this pink knife. This thing is kind of weird. I think I'm going to use my shizzies. We're not going to go for the explosion technique bubble because this is like the first squishy. We don't need a mess here. So basically, I'm going to slice the top of its ducky head and see what pops out. Let's do this. Ew. Like Orbeez for brains. Orbeez for brain cells. Ah! And like disco ball lighting device for brain cells. This is a smart one, Bob. Oh, poor little ducky. He's got the top of his head chopped off. And he's got little Orbeez flying, the clear ones. Ooh, I like these. Thought they would be yellow. Look at this. Completely empty. This thing has no soul bubble. Seriously. I'm going to chop its duck lips and little orange tongue. Look at that. And then I'm going to go for these huge plasticky eyeballs. Like, I don't know what's going to come out of this. Not normal. I ripped off its little beak, just kind of like a stretchy rubber. Now I'm going for those eyeballs. Ooh, look at these things. So weird. I love this material though. It's almost like a slime rubber. So stretchy and I love the sound look. So satisfying. I love that sound. Now we got to get back to this eyeball. Try and chop it. Yeah, well, like, you can try and chop it, but you're definitely not getting through this super hard plastic. It is a plastic ball with a plastic eyeball inside. Like, good luck. Just try to cut the rubber around it. You're not going to do it. Like, whatevs. Forget it. you got a bunch of Orbeez. Let's just listen to the amazing crunch of the ducky skin. That's a better idea. Ugh, too good. 
ducky for dinner. Love this yellow color. That reminds me of spring. Nice. Ducky is done. <laughs> we cook this poor little duck. We get some clear Orbeez. Ooh, I like these. Try to chop one of them. Ooh. I think these are the ones that are filled with the jelly, not the ones that have like the water in them. I don't know. We got this stretchy rubber, super hard eyeball. Move along. From Ducky to Dory, like everything has to be animal squishy today. Oh, cannot believe you. Next up on the chopping block, we got that poor little ducky, and now we're gonna chop this poor little Dory squishy. Now this thing is so, so crazy. I had one the other day, it was the Hulk. It felt just like this, super stretchy. A little bit crunchy. Squishable. Feels like Play-Doh with sand. Ah. Feels like Play-Doh with sand. Bubble, yeah. I think this dory is made of like authentically real fish skin. Feels like fish skin and super gross and smelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we don't know what's in here. I definitely think I know, not too sure, but I love the crunch to it. It feels like a slime or a putty in my hand. Like how it stretches, like that little dory mouth. Oh yes, Bubble, chop it because it smells like fish or like salmon, and I can't take it. Just chop it. Sorry, Dory, you are turning into sushi today. Whoa, just what I thought. Fish eggs. from the top of this pile of salt. This is fish salt, not fish eggs. Oh, look at our little Dory. This <laughs> poor little babe. She is sliced down the middle, ooh. And now that these little beads are out, these little plasticky beads, looks like salt. Stretch a little rubby, ooh, look at that. It's got this crazy texture to it. It's not like this shiny, shiny rubber. It's more of like a Play-Doh. Ooh, cut the tail. It feels like Play-Doh. It doesn't feel like Play-Doh, but it does look like a finger puppet. Like, look at that. I can, like, manipulate Dory's mouth with my finger. So cool. Now I'm going to chop the mouth and the eyes together. Because I don't like mouth and eyes in my sushi. What kind of fish is Dory bubble? Is it a flounder? Or, like, what is it? I need to know for my recipe. Here we go. Sprinkle a little salt. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like we got a little Dory puzzle. These look like little puzzle pieces. This thing is just destroyed. It took out the filling, all this little plasticky beads. I ripped up every corner of the rubber. But it's still squishy. Glue it back together. Yeah. Oh, really? You're gonna glue this back together? Are you gonna glue back the Orbeez ducky and like every squishy rubber chopped? I'd love to see that bubble. I'd love to see that in like the next 24 hours. Glue it back together. Like you missed the center of the face. That was the most important for my sushi. There we go. Eyeballs are so tasty. Love you. I decided to do the little homemade squishy poo a little bit early. Usually I save it for last because it's such a big mess. But I don't know. This one looks a little cute. Maybe it's not going to be so scary. Hope not. Yeah, well, like, you can hope all you want because Colleen loves to, like, terrorize us with her homemade. Like, it's going to be a cute exterior, but on the inside, it's going to be, like, a monster. Like, monster worms. I don't know. We get a little balloon here. We get this balloon. It looks like she splattered it with paint. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, and it feels cold. It's jiggly. It's amazing. I could look at it all day. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it is amazing. Like, when you look at this, it looks like you're in outer space looking down at the world. Like, at the Earth, that's what it looks like. And this looks like... That looks like blood. I don't know. I squeezed it around. I do feel something like a little hard in the center. You gotta do this. You gotta figure this out. Pop it. Ah! You serious? Like the whole thing jumped out of the balloon in one pop? What is this? Wow. Normally when I pop 
one of these balloons. It takes a couple little snips and then it'll fall out slowly. Oh, not this. This thing exploded. Ooh, looks like some blood slime. Little balls, like these little bouncy balls. What are these bubbles? They're like Valentine's theme. We get an owl. Oh, she is so weird. We get a little robot. Something else. Elephant. Should have thought. Colleen got a little creative. She didn't just put the slime in. Actually, the slime is so pretty. If you look at it, it's red. <laughs> the red is a little scary, but I like the pink. It's got a pinky swirl. What is this, like a Valentine squish? What is this? Little bouncy balls. Yeah, like she must have bought these at Target bubble because I saw these little bouncy balls there in like the Valentine section. I even saw this one. I thought it was so cute, but I don't like it anymore. Another question, like how did all of this fit in this teeny tiny regular sized balloon? Like. She's a magician. That elephant looks like a Dr. Seuss. Ha! jiggle on it too. Like it's not even slime or putty. It's like a gelatin base. Like I think this is food for reals. She looks at this up and down. She put these little bouncy balls. They were cute. Nothing too scary. I'm loving this slime. Oh, it's so nice. I'd like to take a bath filled with this stuff. So jiggly and relaxing. And I'm loving the pink and red. Valentine's. Valentine's for sure. Love it. Let me give this craziness a little pokey. Ooh, love it, so soft. Try to chop it up a little. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I'm chopping up a heart. I don't know, it doesn't look too cute now. Get it away. Yeah, Bubble, and like, don't forget to call Colleen and like thank her for this, but tell her I didn't like the little bouncy balls. They were like super ugly. Moving on from some squishy slime to some squishy choco pastry. Ooh, this thing looks so, so good. I don't know the name. It almost looks like a chocolate croissant, but it's got kind of a weird shape. Ah, chocolatey. This thing is so squished. I don't even want to chop this one. I don't have two of these. I don't want to ruin it. I love it. Ooh, it's got those little beads, those little salts. This thing, like, seriously does not look like any pastry I've ever seen in my life. Like, this is a pastry, I think it's from, like, Friends. Like, is it French bubble? Looks super sweet. So this one, complete mystery. I cannot figure it out. I know there's something stretchy in here. Is it slime? Is it like little little bits, like these little salt pieces? I don't know. Actually, it looks like a pretzel twist from like the mall. We love those. So the moment has come. I'm wondering if some chocolate dough is going to be popping out of here. Got my little knife. Let's do it. Ooh. Not working so good. Oh, Bubba, like you are so weird. Like the suspense is getting to me. Forget the knife and like use your polka dots. Use them. Try another approach. I think I'm gonna slice off the end. Ooh, look at that. It's got cream filling. Yes. That's what I was hoping for. Wish it was chocolate, but vanilla. And total scam. If they're gonna put this fluffy, creamy dough stuff, like why wouldn't they make a chocolatey one? Why are they gonna put vanilla in this? Doesn't match up. Not buying it. And this is my favorite squishy ingredient. Oh, I love this stuff. It's so, so cool. It's, it feels different than a play dough, it feels different than like a modeling clay. It's so airy. Oh, I love this. And it doesn't make a mess, it doesn't stick. It's like a magical dough. It's like a magical dough. I absolutely love this stuff, but why couldn't they make it brown and chocolatey? Like, I'm tired of vanilla magical dough in your squishies. But look at this. Look at this. We can make like a pizza. Make like a pizza dough. Ooh, I 
pizza dough. Look at that. So nice. Another thing I love about this squish, look at that clean cut right up the center. Ooh, you know it kind of looks like a honeycomb. <laughs> it's got that honey color. And this side is too much. It looks like a real pastry, like a bread or a pretzel. Chop that chocolate out of there. Yeah, why didn't I think of that earlier? Let's like pop and chop the chocolate out of this chocolate croissant. Pretend I'm cutting up a pretzel from the mall. Puts me in a good mood. Super crunchy. But don't let it get on my fluffy dough. Can you poke this bubble too? Like it's super pokeable and really flexible, but you can like roll it off into a dough ball. Like you can mold it. The bubble teams. That was the squishy little croissant. I don't know what that was. It was definitely like a little pastry or a sweet treat. I loved it. I love this crazy little fluffy dough. I love this rubber. It almost looks like it was painted. Looks like bready. Move along. Yeah, well, it looks like bread it because, like, it is bread it. It's supposed to look like a bread, but it's a squishy toy. Like, get over it. Oh, this thing is excellent, Bubble. It's beautiful. Like, I'm going to stare at it all day. Or, like, until you start cutting it. Behold the squishy masterpiece. <laughs> this one, this definitely has to be the most beautiful squishy. It's so colorful, it's crazy, it looks like a real piece of cake, and the sprinkles are just like, I can't take it. They look like real ones, all these different little colors, and it's crazy slow rising. Look at that. Again, this thing has a rise on it like nobody's business. And the sprinkles like don't even get in the way of that. It's like unreal. Do not be mad at me. <laughs> do not be mad at me. I always get some comments like, why are you cutting up such a nice squishy? Well, I do have another one from my collection, but this one I just I have to see it. I have to see what is in there, making it so doughy like and like so soft. Need to know. Ooh, I love those little sprinkies. They fall off a little bit, but there's so many it doesn't even matter. I love the rainbowy colors. I love the squish. I love the sprinkles. Smells amazing. Smells like frosting or like buttercream. So basically, the squishy has all the traits of like an unbelievable squishy. Like it is top notch. I adore it. This one is just so super soft. You can like poke it like a slime. Like it gets your little fingerprint in there. Oh, it's just crazy. It's too, too good. It smells unbelievable. It smells so good. I wish it was real. I need a real piece of cake like this pronto. I gotta go get one. Never find one like this. Yeah, like you better make yourself one like this because you're never gonna find one like this at any kind of bakery or store. This is like from another planet. This looks like a unicorn cake. The unicorn cake squishy. Here we go. Oh, don't be mad. Don't be mad at me. I'm just going to give it a little slice up through the middle. Let's do it. Oh, it's so soft. Let's see what we got. Kawaii. Oh, yes, Bubble. We got like a bunch of kawaii right here. Now, like, you think the exterior was super soft? Well, look at this. Look at the interior. Like, fresh pizza dough or something. That's not even real. We got the two halves. The good news is I didn't ruin it too much. This bottom looks like a sliced piece of cake, but we still got those sprinkies on there. Oh, so it's just so good. It smells even better. Once I slice it, all of that scent is right in here. Yeah, you were looking for like you had to ruin this adorable unicorn cake to get to this you've seen it a billion times you know what it is like it smells completely wonderful but like really you had to destroy what else there it is the cake slice unbelievable smells unbelievable has the most slow rising dough i think i've ever seen in a squishy 
I loved it. And the last squishy thing up on the table. It's nothing to chop open, but it is to squish. We got a baby chocolate milk slum. This thing is miniature. Miniature. I call this thing like microscopic, like you almost need a microscope to see it. And if it's chocolate, like why does it have coffee beans? Is it a latte? Is it? Yes, the moment has finally come. Ever since I got this little thing, I've been waiting to open it, see if it smells like chocolate or what the slime is like. It's got this little, I don't know, it's like a little rubber band with some purple paper. What is that? Ooh, here it is. Look at this. Eee. It's like a peanut butter. Ooh, I don't like the feeling. Ooh, it feels so weird. It's freezing cold. Let me see if it smells like choco. Nope, not scented. Doesn't smell like anything, which I guess is a good thing. Let's get the rest out of here. Love it, but it's like such a super tiny piece of like chocolate milk slime. It's like not satisfying enough. Like it's good for only one thingy. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> I love this thing. I love the whole idea. I love the texture of this. It really does look like kind of a little bit more like peanut butter, but it's got a chocolatey look to it. I love this little purple thing. And I love the bottle. Original milk. Still don't get it. Like original milk. But then it says like coffee bean in Japanese, so like, figure that out. Another thing that would have been so cool is if they had it scented, like it was smelly like chocolate. I have seen scented slimes before, but this is such a tiny little piece, I don't know if they could do it. A little jiggly. Oh, let's just like seal this little baby thing up because I love it so much, I don't want to ruin it. Let's try to pour the slime back into the milk bottle. Look at that. Look at that, it's going right in there. Wait. Fill up our milky. Do this. Ah! It's such a tiny, tiny little bottle. It's almost gonna be impossible, but I got to do it. I wanna save this stuff. I don't want it drying out. This is almost like a little bottle for like a Barbie doll. It's, that's about the size. Maybe a little bit bigger. You see how I'm doing this? I'm doing it with love and patience. Like, you don't have any of that stuff, so that's to do it for you. Cover it up. Love this little purple thing. Like, I don't get it, but I love it. Put a little purple paper on the milk. With a little red thingy. Fix this up. So there it is, the last one of the day, a little chocolatey milk. So, so cute. I definitely have to get more of these. I think they have like a strawberry and a regular one. I gotta get more, they're so cute. Wow, like the ending scene on your tester actually looks pretty today. Love this. We are done with the squishy chop for the day. So many crazy things. I think my absolute favorite was the cake. Then I like this little choco croissant. Ooh, it's got the dory. <laughs> this little fluffy stuff with this rubber. I love that. And I love the little chocolatey slime. Yeah, but like I didn't like anything as usual except like the light up device from the ducky. Like I love these things. Have a whole collection. Have it for you guys. So leave me a comment and let me know out of all this crazy stuff. What was your fave? What was your favorite squishy? Did you like the ducky? Did you like Dory? What was it? And we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.